Hi guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you a few stories about my experience working at McDonald's. I started two and a half years ago and I'm, I still work there now, so um, I hope I don't get in trouble. So let's start off with the good ones. There is a group of three men, they're old, maybe in their 80s, and they always come in wearing these t-shirts that say Romeo on them. It means retired old men eating out. I always loved when they would come in because they're so happy and they would always like mess around with me and I would always say, hey, I want one of those shirts. And they actually got me one like a year later. I wear it all the time when I'm at home. They still visit me to this day. They're always there every single Saturday and I love when they come in. Another good memory there is these group of six ladies and they're old, probably in their nine, no, they're like late 70s, early 80s and they always come in every Sunday and they're the cutest group of old ladies. I want to be in that group so bad. I hope to have a group like that when I'm as old as them. They are so sweet. They brought me a card for my birthday, gave me money for my graduation and that is just really sweet for customers to do considering, you know, they only see you for like 20 minutes a day, one day a week, and I thought it was really sweet that they did that. Now on to some really weird experiences. Working the drive through there are a lot of obnoxious people that just drive through, and often there are a lot of teenage boys, and one time I just remember like handing someone their food, and they were like, Hey, can I ask you a question? And I was like, uh, sure. And then the friend in the back of the car of the kid who asked me that was like, no, don't. And then they were like, do you want an Eiffel Tower? And then I just like closed the window on them and I was just like, that sounds really wrong and I know it is. So I was just like, mm -hmm, bye. Also the other day, there was this guy who came in. He looked like he was maybe 20 and he had like dreadlocks in and he comes up to the register and he looks so high in the clouds and I was, I was just like hi and then like he was just staring at me and he was kind of looking at me like what do you want but obviously I'm kind of sitting there like what do you want <laughs> and he was just like he ordered his food and when I gave it to him I, I like kind of inched the tray towards him and he was like pushing it back at me so I just walked away and I was like okay and then he came back another time and he was just like are you okay and in my head I was and then I said are, are you okay and then he just like walked away and I was like <laughs> I'm so confused and then he came back again up to my register and he was like are you registered to vote and I was like sorry I'm only 17 I can't vote but really I was like not I'm 19 so but I look I look really young so I was just like I can't vote and then he came back like three hours later and my coworker was like hey your best friend's back and I, I looked over and I was like ah and my supervisor Victor talked to him and he left 